What if I told you, death is not always the end? Some animals go beyond biology, breaking the rules of nature to survive, fight, or even clone themselves long after they're supposed to be dead. Here are the top 10 animals that can live after death. Let's get it. Number one, snakes. Now this is nightmare fuel. A decapitated snake can still bite you, and worse, it can inject a full dose of venom. That's because a snake's heat sensors and reflexes stay active for minutes, sometimes even hours after death. The nervous system doesn't need the whole body to function, just the head and a twitch trigger. It's not just muscle memory, it's murder memory. In one case, a chef in China was killed while preparing a snake 20 minutes after chopping off its head. So yeah, never trust a dead snake. It might have one last move. Number two, octopuses. Octopuses are already bizarre. Three hearts, blue blood, and a brain so smart it can open jars. But here's the twist. Each arm has its own nerve bundle, a kind of mini brain. So even after being severed, those arms can crawl, grab prey, and even try to choke predators. Some scientists have seen a severed tentacle try to feed itself. It's like the arm doesn't know it's not part of the hole anymore. That means when you cut an octopus, you're not killing it. You're creating an army of twitchy, autonomous, tentacled weirdos. It's like nature's own horror spinoff. Number three, chickens. Let's talk about Mike the Headless Chicken, the bird that refused to die. In 1945, a farmer in Colorado chopped off Mike's head, but missed the brainstem. Miraculously, Mike didn't just survive, he thrived. He walked, tried to peck, and even crowed. The farmer kept feeding him with an eyedropper, and Mike became a national sensation, touring America as a living miracle. He lived for 18 months without a head. Most chickens can live for several minutes post-decapitation due to nerve reflexes. But Mike, he broke the timeline. This wasn't just a fluke. It was poultry immortality. Number four, frogs. Science gets weird sometimes. In an experiment, researchers removed a frog's entire brain and the frog didn't care. It still swam, hopped when prodded and responded to light. How? Frogs have a spinal cord capable of carrying out basic movements without any brain involvement. This reflex system lets them function without top-down control. The creepiest part? They don't just twitch, they actively move. It's like their bodies have a backup operating system. This zombie frog phenomenon proves that in some creatures, instincts and survival run deeper than consciousness. It's biology stripped to the bone and still working. Number five, flatworms. Flatworms, or planarians, are the closest thing we have to biological immortality. Cut one into two, three, or 20 pieces, and each piece grows into a complete, functioning worm. But it gets better. Experiments show they can retain memory even after being regenerated. One study trained worms to solve a maze, then chopped them up. The regenerated worms remember the solution. How? Scientists think some memories are stored outside the brain, maybe an RNA. These creatures don't just cheat death, they respawn with experience. Basically, they're the regenerative Jedi of the animal kingdom. Number six, salamanders. Salamanders are the superheroes of regeneration. Lose a leg, it grows back. Tail, easy. Part of the heart, spine, or even brain? No biggie. Unlike humans, they can regrow complex structures without scar tissue. Their cells can revert to a stem cell-like state, rebuild the missing parts, and perfectly recreate muscle, nerve, and bone. They're even being studied to unlock secrets for human tissue regeneration and cancer resistance. In short, when a salamander gets hurt, it doesn't heal, it rebuilds. They don't survive damage, they undo it. Wolverine might be jealous. Number seven, turtles. Turtles take slow and steady to terrifying new levels. After decapitation, some species, 
like the loggerhead musk turtle, can have a heartbeat for up to 5,000 hours. That's over 200 days. How? Turtles have low metabolism and can survive with almost no oxygen by switching to anaerobic respiration. Their body just pauses, waiting for the world to catch up. Their nervous system is so independent, it keeps going long after the head is gone. It's not just survival, it's suspension. These are the monks of the animal kingdom, still, calm, and almost impossible to kill. Number eight, flies. Here's one for the creepy files. Female flies, even after decapitation, can still walk, fly, clean themselves, and even get hit on by male flies. That's right, they still release mating signals and attract suitors. Scientists believe this is due to neural circuits in their thorax, the central part of their body, that can function without brain input. So a headless fly can move like normal until it just drops. It's like a wind-up toy that doesn't know it's broken. Romantic, maybe. Gross, definitely. Undead insect tinder is alive and well. Number nine, cockroaches. Cockroaches are the tank class of the bug world. Cut off their head, they keep going. That's because they breathe through spiracles, tiny holes along their body, and don't rely on the mouth or nose. With low blood pressure and decentralized nerve control, a cockroach doesn't need a head to survive for days, even weeks. Eventually, they die from dehydration or starvation, not trauma. These bugs have been around since the time of dinosaurs and are practically nuclear proof. If anything outlives us, it'll be these headless horrors eating crumbs and refusing to die. Number 10, bees. Bees are the original kamikaze warriors. Once a honeybee stings you, its abdomen tears and it dies. But the stinger keeps working like a venom syringe on autopilot. Muscles attached to the stinger keep pumping venom for minutes after the bee's gone. It's a final act of revenge. One last, don't mess with my hive message, even from the grave. If that's not loyalty, what is? It's both tragic and terrifying. The bee dies, but its defense mechanism lives on. A reminder that even in death, nature has a few punches left to throw. In a world obsessed with avoiding death, these animals embrace it, defy it, and sometimes even laugh in its face. They teach us that resilience isn't just surviving, it's fighting beyond the finish line. Whether it's a headless chicken or a worm with memory DNA, one thing's clear, life finds a way. So next time life knocks you down, remember, even a brainless frog can keep moving, so can you. Subscribe to DG Max for more savage science, wild wonders, and the craziest truths from Earth's backyard.